guys, today we have a tempo run. 10 minutes warm up, 15 minutes at tempo pace, and five minutes cooling down. Let's get it done. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Susie, and this is I Run Things. If you're new, welcome, but if you're not new, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. So in this channel, I talk about my training for different races, primarily in the United States. And I have three races, well, really four, but three races that I am tackling starting in October. It's three marathons, October 23rd, I'm gonna be doing Atlantic City. November 20th, I'm gonna be doing Philadelphia. And then January 9th, I'm gonna be doing Walt Disney World Marathon. The first one of those, I am running with my friend Ginger, and we are going to be aiming for four hours. So, which is why you will see the tag chasing four in all these videos. I have to apologize, number one, because I said that I was going to upload one video for the week with all my training. However, I received a few comments that, um, I mean, people were super nice about it, but people were saying that they really enjoy my daily vlogs when I just film the run with a couple of bits and pieces of the rest of my day. So we're going back to the old format. It might be that there's only one video for the week. Hopefully not. Hopefully there will be more, but yeah, I'm going back as per your request, guys. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, today we have a tempo run following Hal Hickton, events two, and uh, yeah, that's what we have in the books today. I should have done it yesterday, but I'm doing it today. I turned them around. The reason for that is I thought it was going to be raining today on and off, which is true. So I just got out now. Temperature 72 degrees, which is not bad for a tempo run. I'm still in my warm up and then we'll start running. Pace is kind of up there. So yeah. Woo. And I'm revving my heart talking to you guys. That was a quick run. I'm done, pretty much. I have four minutes cooling down now. I have five, but I did my first already. So now I'm going slower. I'm gonna run myself home and I'm gonna continue with my day. Doggy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to introduce a new feature of these running vlogs. I am going to share with you one tip per video. It's a quick tip, something that I have learned or something I wanna share with you about running, recovery, maybe nutrition, whatever it may be. And then I'm gonna ask that you guys share your tip below and then the following running vlog I will mention them. So we're spreading the knowledge. Okay, so quick tip of the day, just because I was really sorry yesterday. Quick tip. When you take your shower, shower with hot water, but then spray, you know, with the shower. If you can, if you have one of those showers that go down, I don't. But if you have one of those, it's easier because you focus on the areas where you're gonna be sore, you think, the next day. But if you don't have one of those, take a cold shower at the very end. You don't need to do it for a long time. You know, like a minute is enough. But that tightens everything up 
and cools your body down. And it's my, my favorite thing to do after a hard workout. Just take a hot shower and then finish with cold water. The colder, the better. Okay, so did you guys know about this tip? Comment below and add any other tip you have about recovery. Okay, we're gonna get ourselves home. Yeah, only two minutes left, not even. Okay, so it says 3.2 aerobic, 0.0 anaerobic. I think I was in zone, probably threshold, if, if at all. We'll see. We're gonna check right now. By the way, guys, you ask me a lot about my brass. I will link them below. I have an Amazon storefront. I think it's called that way. Anyway, the brass that I use are there as well as some of the bottoms that I use as well for running now in the summertime. So Prime Day is approaching. I don't know if any of the items on my store are going to go on sale. I have no idea, but for what's worth, they are there. So I will link that below. Okay, so now let's turn off the music and let's check how we did. Yeah, like I suspected, I was mostly in zone four which is threshold, it was that anaerobic. I needed to do t the tempo, the 50 minutes tempo under 9.35 and I did, did it in 9.53. I wasn't hitting pace till towards the end, which is not surprising because the workout yesterday kicked my butt and they were supposed to be done the other in the reverse. So today I was supposed to have done yesterday and yesterday today. So tomorrow is a rest day. I'm planning on doing strength training and if the weather holds tomorrow, I'll walk on for longer, for longer. I'm considering buying a bike, like a stationary bike. And if you have any recommendations, leave them below as well. Because I'm curious. I would like to have one that connects to Swift. So I don't need anything fancy, but I do need it to connect to Swift. So yeah, okay. And this is it. You can click right here to subscribe, here to watch another suggested video, and here to watch my latest video. Run for your lessy guys. <laughs>